So you're watching Umbrella Academy. These later level levels are horrible. Uh, yeah, i have season like three or four. Why is it called Umbrella Academy? Um, because that's the name of their academy. Does it have anything to do with umbrellas? They used to. It was just kind of their like symbol that they would, they would walk around with like umbrellas. Is it related to Resident Evil? In no. Any way? <laughs> no. 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 Did you think it was? It's not. No. But there is something umbrella related in Resident Evil, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. This, this, I was trying to flex. The company. I, as someone who doesn't know anything about Resident Evil, I was trying to flex my Resident Evil knowledge. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. I thought so too. Um, um, Umbrella yeah, no, Academy, is it like an X-Men ripoff? Uh, not really. I mean, it's kind of like... It is like kind of superhero related, I guess. It's just, it basically there's a for some inexplicable reason there there was a, a long time ago a bunch of kids were just randomly birthed out of nothing and uh, they had like weird powers and stuff and so this guy like collects them but he's like a really bad father like he's trying to create like a superhero team basically mm -hmm. but he's like a really bad father and so we fast forward to the point where like they all hate each other and they're all like depressed alcoholics <laughs> um and they're just trying to like i don't know come together again there's a, there's basically a, like an end of the world plot like the so apocalypse have, is coming it unites them uh they have to find a way to figure out like why and then stop it but it doesn't actually really have anything to do with the super powers <laughs> mostly they really actually even some of them don't even really like it's kind of only a, like a very vague superpower. Like I think Diego is just—he's just really good with knives. <laughs> like, oh, it's not even really like. He's just good with knives. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Like fast reflex. Is it good? Like, is it worth watching? It's really good because it's not like it's not like a superhero show. It doesn't feel like it at all. Like it's it's more of a more about the like inner family drama and like you know how. Uh, I guess how drama. fucked up their like childhoods were. The how, wait, they, when like, you say this guy was a bad dad, I, really bad. Did you mean like he abused them, or do you mean he like didn't go to their baseball game? Uh, both. I mean, he kind of he was abusive. Okay, um, so the worst of both to, worlds. He he does some really like heinous shit to some of them. Like, yeah, it's you know, it is. It's it's interesting. I don't know. What family sort of, doesn't have drama? Am I, you true. know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. But they uh, they only have each other really because they didn't know their original parents. Well, they also have like they could make friends and stuff in the world. In the no, they're oh. not good at that. Oh. They're all really like socially in it. It's very. But why? Because uh, they were like famous as well. What? What? They're famous. Yeah, there was a superhero team. Yeah, but he like the guy's good with knives, and they're like, we discerned that it's a superpower, not just. Uh. Like I said, I think it was like he's kind of like a daredevil type, where he's kind of like his senses are heightened. He has like fast, ref yeah, like reflexes or something. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, might. I'm a big X Men fan, so I'll probably I might check. Yeah. It out. Well, yeah. <laughs> just I'm trying to say, it's not really like a typical like superhero type thing. It's more about the, the just the, the bizarre dynamics. dynamic that yeah. they have. Um, they did kind of grow up like famous but they were really bad superheroes as well so they never really they can't also, even you really can use that, fly off that you can fame. use that gun if you want I don't think I can because I blew it up uh Oh, I destroyed it I think it was saying uh, if I get behind it oh, okay. I can like take it but not if I destroy it oh my gosh this person is like shoving me around okay <laughs> Don't let her push you like that. It's a good show. It's got um, Elliot Page. It's got uh, the dude from Miss. Did you ever watch Miss? No, you didn't. There's a show called Misfits. Yeah. It was a British. Yeah. You've watched Misfits? So like the in betweeners. Kind of. I mean, but that it's it's kind of a, actually kind of a similar show because it's about yeah. a bunch of teenagers. That's with why I mix those two up. I for sure. Have, I thought I had seen some of Misfits. I for sure have seen a couple seasons of In Betweeners. Okay, the show actually reminds me a lot of Misfits. It's got kind of a similar 
um, vibe. It's but the guy that plays Nathan in Misfits. I don't know. You probably I don't remember this specific yeah. character. He's like invincible. Okay. He can't die in that in that show. Um, he's in this. That's the only other thing I've seen him in, and he's great. He's like a, I love that guy so much. Really funny. He plays Klaus. Hmm. Uh, did you ever watch Peep Show? Yes, I did. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a good show. So I was just on I always... British. That that's what I was when I I went on a British humor kick, and that's when I watched like In Between Us, Peep yeah. Show, and oh, uh, with that Mitchell and Webb look. It's a sketch show, but yeah. Um, you should watch Red Dwarf. You always tell me to. <laughs> it's the parody sci-fi show, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Star Trek parody. Well, I funny. saw Blade Runner parody. I saw a video where they do the parody of the... I think you posted it in our chat. The parody of the getting shot and going through the windows. Yeah. It's from Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, did that hurt me? I took your body armor. This game makes me want to die. I don't think I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end of this level. Yeah, you are. I believe. Fucking heck! These people are like they are like literally just spawning now. It's not even like fair. <laughs> well, Bond goes up against all odds. You know what I mean? I guess I know what you mean. It's probably reload. I don't like it. I I press the button. Uh, Red Dwarf's good. I I recommend that one. That one's kind of old though. That animation is too long. It's too long. You gotta cook it beforehand and then peek out when you throw it. Oh, it's so hard. I believe in you. You are Bond. <sighs> you are. What's Bond's? What's one of Bond's best catchphrases? James Bond. Martini. I'm shaking. James Bond. James. My name is Bond. James <laughs> Bond. I like when he says that. That's a good. That's, that's a good, good part part too. Yeah. I'll have a martini. Uh, I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I beat <have meat> women. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing an old man voice <laughs> instead of Bond. <laughs> my name's Bond. <laughs> so we say You're right. They should make an old man Bond. <laughs> yeah, that would be so good. He already drinks a lot of gin, so it makes sense. Only old people drink gin. Um, gin's okay. Um. It's Only old, old people drink I'm, well, gin. Well, I am, I am older than you. My grandma used to drink gin and nothing but gin. She had a bottle of Grey Goose or whatever. No, that's vodka. That's she had a bottle of uh, Bombay. Bombay Sapphire. That was the one. There you go. Uh, she put it in and she put it in water. Gin and regular water or tonic water? It's just water. Just regular water. Then she couldn't say she's sipping the tonic and gin. Sure, like she never did say that. Yeah. Piano man. <laughs> yeah. Um. This all sucks. What were we talking? Oh, James Bond is an alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is he an alcoholic? I th I'm, well, I feel like that, that's a good point. You oh, raise a good is. question. I feel like it's constantly associated with him. They're like, oh, James Bond, like, is misogynist and alcoholic, and it's like. You probably could count the drinks you see him take. Yeah. And is he ever like sloppy drunk? I mean, I guess you could be functioning alcoholic, but like, he 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 drinks. Oh, okay, she just <laughs> she screwed you over there. I didn't even shoot her. The other the other guy. The other did. guy. That's so. This, this is this is the worst level I've decided. Maybe this is way worse than the last level. Bond is unfairly represent like people unfairly associate Bond as an alcoholic when he's really he drinks a normal amount. Yeah, I feel like that's one of those things that was like maybe a meme and people are just kind of ran kinda, with it too much. Yeah, keep the meme going. Then it became reality. Yeah. And the people started believing it. Yeah. I feel like know, that happens a lot. They didn't know it was started as a joke. And yeah. Like, a bunch of people that don't actually know the 
the Bond lore. About it. <laughs> they just the saw the meme and they're like, "Oh you yeah." You think that's... Bond's an alcoholic? I'll yeah. have you know he drank a n totally <laughs> normal amount of alcohol that's in those true. movies. He never um, touched a woman. Besides those couple of times. That's <laughs> besides a handful of times. <laughs> those don't that. count though. Yeah. Um. Oh, you figured it out. Of, there you go. You snuck up on him. Bond moment. Bond <laughs> Create a drone. Hey, there's a there's body armor back there. Is there? Isn't there? On there. That? Oh, you're right. Now you're all kitted up. Oh, I feel powerful and strong and beautiful and brave. That's what Bond says every morning. <laughs> in his mirror. Yeah. Um, so what did you think of the Craig Bonds trying to give, uh, like, him Bond backstory? Um, <clears throat> I'm fine with it. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I mean, people ask for a lot more out of media now. You can't just have, like, a shitty action flick. Nobody will go see it. You gotta have a multiverse. You gotta, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess back in the Daniel Craig era, I feel like there was a higher standard. Maybe it has devolved a bit recently into just <laughs> shitty. Well, no, because nobody likes the new Marvel movies. Nobody likes that shit anymore. Yeah, but it's trying to be like a, it's like has, you, I feel like you could make a good just action movie on its own and be appreciated. Yeah, but nobody would see it. I feel like nobody's watching movies unless they like already recognize the IP. Um, and you I never. Hear, I, I don't know. I'd never hear anybody be like, "Hey, have you here's this new movie that yeah, like, I, you've I never saw, heard of." Have you heard of Long Legs? Uh, I heard of it. Uh, it's a new original good. IP. I watched it and it was pretty good. Uh, like, um, in fact, it was really good for maybe, a horror movie in this day and age. Maybe I should watch it. What but you're right. I was uh, I was about to be like. Now, before you mentioned it be needing to be an original IP, and you were just saying people doing an action flick, I was like, there's Mad the Mad Max Fury Road and Furiosa, and then you're like, original IP, and I was like, oh, I can't bring that up, <laughs> but Long, yeah. Long is not an action. I'm trying to, think of a, trying to think of an action movie, like a generic action movie that was good. Because to your point, I try, <laughs> trying to watch that that new... Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I was just kind of like... It was so predictable as far as... Move from set piece to set piece. Have some kind of action or chase. And I was like, I just don't give a shit. Yes. I could not give a singular that shit about this. No, but then, you flip the channel over to John Wick 4. And it's a guy handing a dude a coin going... The secret order of the table will blah blah blah. And you're like, okay, I'm invested in this. There's a world, you know what I mean? That's not going far enough. Yeah. Um, I, I do. You feel my pain, brother? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sorry if I laid too heavy of a topic on you. Uh. You don't even know what you. Oh. God. You're dead. No. You don't even know what you agreed game. to. I don't. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is I said, I said, this is, if you want me to, you can run the tape back, but you I said, I personally am not a racist, but say yes if you are. You didn't say and that. that and <laughs> I would have definitely heard that. <laughs> okay, you got the, you're doing it. I, I am. Um... What is he saying? Oh, I have to activate the elevator. Yeah, uh, action movies? What? what yeah, was talking about, is there, yeah. are there any, oh, oh, Borderlands. Yeah, I heard that was not good. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's what everybody would say. The it was games like, were in, I don't, oh, okay, can I go Wasn't on it a like the lowest rated movie Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> in like forever everyone was I talking so. about that yeah no it was bad but i am not surprised because i have forever thought those games were unbearable yeah i kind of actually and not good and even back then i cringed so hard at the humor and the writing and it i never understood their popularity yeah 
They're not I, even I like mean, that good as a gun game. Like they're okay, and people true. are like, <laughs> they're like, there's a billion <laughs> guns though, and it's there like, are, yeah, they're all okay. just like combinations. Of yeah, I, I glad we can agree that. I, yeah, I always thought that. I always thought the same. Way thing. overrated. I had fun playing the game. I would say I had fun. I only played the first one. Yeah, I did. I, I heard I, the second one's better. I played some of the second one, but it's honestly the right like the dialogue. Yeah, the sense was, of humor is terrible. It's, it was even felt even worse than the second <coughs> one. It's real cringy. First one, it was just like okay, but then I found out. I honestly was upset like after having beat it, and then yeah. it was like had this like cult following. And I know I shouldn't <laughs> judge something based off of just its fans. But I was like, I like it less now somehow <laughs> that it's like highly regarded. It's yeah, like, it's like it's not that good, guys. And then it had some insanely, I'm sure, expensive movie. Like of all franchises to have something made, they pick board. Oh, oh, that thing's still alive. You can shoot it, I think. I want to take it. Oh, good thinking. I got a Phoenix Ronin. Oh, this is where they... Uh-oh. Might remember that. It's gonna blow you up. They place a satchel charge, and they blow up, and they start coming in through the windows. Actually, this would be a good place to set up go. my Phoenix... Oh, my no. Phoenix Wright and my Ace Attorney. Oh, God. Uh, objection. Oh, God. Objection. Oh, God, that's how this works. Get that, me out of here. Uh, yeah, that might... <laughs> I mean, it may be okay if you're not standing directly in the path of... Uh, is it just the one guy? I guess so. I was gonna say, did you not watch the? You're a, you're a big red letter media guy. I thought you watched all their videos. I don't watch all their videos. Oh. I like their best of the worst stuff mostly. Oh. I'll sometimes watch their half in the bag if it's something I've already seen. Oh. Um, which one are you talking about? Well, they did one on Borderlands. Uh, they I'm a little a shocked. Video. Oh yeah, I it yeah, but I, it seems like the if it's that bad, classic movie to like, yeah, trash on. What what did they say about it? They said it was bad. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> was a surprise. But the the one thing that stood out to me was they were talking about um, claptrap right, and they have a uh, um Jack Black. Yeah, they have Jack Black playing claptrap, and they're just talking about like how he's just quipping and making a bunch of annoying jokes and I'm like well at least they captured they kept the heart of the true character. to the they, <laughs> yes it was a perfect translation of at least they got that one right to, to the movie <laughs> yeah claptrap is the worst yeah he's bad he's bad in the game like, he's bad yes i saw yeah that's that's one of yeah the things about that game that i found so annoying anyways um but they were yeah they were talking about how they got like a lot of um you know they got um yeah, what's okay. her name? The Kevin Halloween Hart, girl, Clay, lady from Kate Halloween. Blanchett, Jamie Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. The, that's what I mean by. They were talking about like it's like an an old woman action. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, like Kate, the, Kate Blanchett like, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis are. You don't picture that as the top billing of your action movie. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Um, I good actresses, but is yeah. Weird casting which that's what i mean is it's all it's weird because like they probably cost a lot of money to get them too for sure and it's like what like for a borderlands movie it's just yeah i feel like that they could have made a james geeky. bond nightfire movie they could have <laughs> they could have brought old pierce back with this yeah. with his his gray his gray his gray highlights I, I did wonder if they'd ever do i was wondering in the craig movies if they were gonna have Pierce, or hell, even Sean Connery, like show up as like a grizzled retired. I feel know. like that would be so. That would be such a weird like universe changing thing if they did that. Like, oh, these people exist in this universe. You can't really just put Sean Connery in like a new Bond movie, you know? Yeah, but I feel like the way you would do it is just like have him. But not necessarily refer to him as James Bond. Just say he's a retired double O. You know what I mean? I guess it wouldn't really mean anything though. It'd just <laughs> no. be like, yeah. But it, I'm le less so from it needing to be James Bond, but more like, there's no. Is there any like actual retired double O's? Uh, yeah, probably. 
so like they should have they die they probably a lot of them probably they should have had one them. to like teach bond the importance of oh, whatever no. love whatever whatever what does bond usually like he values martinis sex and sex <laughs> <laughs> wow yes what a good what a good property He's very like, virtuous I guess I'm escaping through the elevator shaft. I don't know why I opened the sky bridge then. It seems in, not important to do that if I'm just escaping. <gasps> yes! Oh, you did Thank it. Thank freaking Jesus. That was painless. I hate... I, oh, you keep the saying they're hard, but you may, you look, you're knocking them out. I'm just good. I'm just you're good just too good. good. Imagine if I was bad at this game. Oh my gosh, we'd still be on... We wouldn't have beaten the first level. Uh, yeah, exactly. Maybe that would be more entertaining. I don't know. Who knows? Hint, satchel charges can be placed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's That's like, hey, stop that. Stop <laughs> You're getting it in my eye. It hurts. I'm going to go blind. <laughs> Do you ever think about the, the freaking trail of bodies he leaves in his wake? Absolutely. Like I just That guy you shot is going to fall down into like the... <laughs> the elevator shaft, like... Yes. He kills a lot of people, but he's licensed to do so, so it's okay. That's true, it's legal. It's illegal. Like... Does that ever happen? Like... It's, he kills some, like, the bad guy in public, and the police is like, Hey, hands up! And he pulls out a card that just says, I'm allowed to kill people. <laughs> and they're like, oh, right, well... <laughs> You, nothing, ain't nothing we can do here, folks. Nothing we can do. <laughs> and then he just shoots the cop, <laughs> and the people are like, "Well, he's oh. technically he's allowed." To do that. <laughs> technically, you can kill cops. The law, God That's save the true. queen. No, I think there's been times where he's gotten like captured and put in a prison before, but they usually like MI6 will just show up and like bail him out and be like, oh, "You can't hold him." He's allowed to. He's a federal agent or whatever. Is that how? Uh oh! Shit, 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 shit! I can't change it while I'm reloading. They gotcha. This game's archaic. I got a bathroom. Okay. Uh, uh, my back. This part he'll just edit out of the video. No, I'm keeping it. He'll just edit this out. Um. Uh, are you excited for uh epic? Oh, well, you know, what? What's uh? Which you got any big plans for the channel right now? Uh, plans. I don't know. Um, it's kind of just. I've actually been thinking about. Um, well, I've been working on like, like putting out like full series of the videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing that. I, um, uh, that's kind of like whatever. But uh, other than that, I don't really. I mean, I might do more like uh, uh, Reddit reaction things because people watch those for some reason but other than that i don't know <laughs> it's all just kind of like whatever you know like let's play it's like i could do these but uh, i don't know i try i started dirge of cerberus and i'm like i don't know i don't know if i'm should we do a, should we do a reddit thing together one time <laughs> we could try i don't know how we would do that but. if we disagree on who the asshole is oh man that would and i'm like no they ate ita <laughs> and you're like no they are they eat N and i say N -A need more information <laughs> not uh, equal shared asshole yeah yeah I'm, I, I i would we could do that just gonna react to those. Ins those are insane, right? Those people are. are it's fake, right? Can we have the side? Some of them are fake. Some of them are not, for sure. Um, the, this kind of subreddit, they though. always depress me because I'm like, either a this is real and it's sad, yeah. or b this is fake and it's like almost just as sad. Yeah. So it's always super weird why, like. <laughs> I guess the reason people fake stuff is just to get, like, the only thing you get is, like, karma upvotes, you know? And I'm like, why, what do you need that for? Like, I don't know if it is just, like, a, an ego thing creative, for some people. Creative writing endeavor. It could be that. It could be, like, a school project, I guess. 
I hope well, not. I mean, some people probably just be like, I wonder if I can convince people this is real. I guess so. But and that's there's that like a, would there's like like tie a little into talent. like an ego thing. Because there, what was it? The, um, it used to kind of, this is like way, I used to be addicted. Like right when I got out of college and was work, it, like I was addicted to all of the like text post reddits. Yeah. So one of them was, what is it called? FML, I think. Yeah. Fuck my life, or my life is average. There's one where you're supposed to tell these like stories about like something unfortunate happened in your life, and it became so obvious that people in within these stories would find some way to mention that they like had sex or someone. <laughs> it, it, yeah. That it became like a sort of meta joke that it's like it's not a real post unless it has some sort of mention of. Even though this bad, oh yeah, like my bike broke, <laughs> but like throughout the story, like he mentions he had sex with like his crush or something. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what is hap? Like all these text reddits, it's just people like with uh. these weird, like I have to tell people I how cool my life is or yeah, I don't know. I feel like they all kind of devolve into that. Yeah, it's like an ego thing. It's yeah. like um. Weird embellishments. That's also a partially even some of the stories. It's like you you read them and it's like they may not be like making the entire story up, but they're gonna probably embellish certain things and they're gonna try to make themselves look as good as possible in the story. So it's always you know I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's always kind of whatever. It's always kind of stupid. Don't ever hold. I uh, hopefully. I mean, I hope this video gets lots of views, yeah. but don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> don't tell anyone about. It. Don't tell anyone I, the secrets. The secret. There was. Yeah. A, it was one of that. It was during that time when I was reading all the text re subreddits. I don't even remember what this what subreddit it was, but there was this story about a man and his wife and how they met, and how they like this love blossomed between them. <laughs> yeah. And it was they were both blind though. Okay, or one of them was blind or something. Oh. And it was a really beautiful story very beautiful and then the it, like i can't even remember all the details i just remember it being like really moving and then there was an edit and he posted pictures of them together mm. and the okay and again this this isn't even an am i the asshole i know i'm the <laughs> asshole here but the the story was so beautiful i think i imagined a certain you imagine them being beautiful <laughs> <laughs> imagine them being beautiful and I immediately i saw the picture and i was like Oh, that's not what I pictured in my oh, head at God, all. And then the first top comment was, "I'm such an asshole. I so I feel like such an asshole when I saw that, saw the picture. <laughs> like that's all it said. But it was like highly upvoted. And I was like, oh God. Thank. Thankfully, it wasn't just me. <laughs> what did they but, look like? Were they just well? Maybe you don't I don't want to. I don't want to say. I'm they imagining just, like they were really large or something. I don't know. Maybe it, it was a mix of them being very large and just very in charge. Not traditionally ha like Ugh. handsome or attractive, but oh, anyway, sure. you, failed, you failed that pretty quickly. I remember but, this mission. For the record, I remember this mission being shit. Also, real hard and annoying. But <laughs> but anyway, it's just like. That made ever since that it kind of made me think about all those text subreddits, the vision of the scenario that appears in my head versus yeah, what was, actually happened. It was like romanticize it. It's like the Hollywood version of it. Yeah, basically. Oh right, I have to sneak. I f I forgot. You gotta sneak in a submarine. No, we. Want, I want. I need to avoid the submarine. Oh, I thought you are a submarine. I am a submarine. Well, I'm a submarine <laughs> car kind of. What did you do this time? It's like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Except bang, the car bang, goes chitty, chitty, underwater. Bang, bang. Huh? Hey, oh, chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Bang Bang. We love you. We love Chitty Bang Bang. Here we go, Chitty. Here we go, Chitty. So, chitty Chitty Bang Bang loves us too. That movie had the child catcher in it. And I used to be terrified uh, oh, yes. of it as a child. I smell a child. Uh, me, my brother was especially oh. scared of him. My dad used to do that. To do the voice to us all the time to try to scare us. And it works. He was a scary guy. <laughs> it's a good movie. I like the guy who lived in like an outhouse. And it, he was like an old mm -hmm. war veteran guy. Yeah. It's a wacky movie. It, 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 it's on. I feel like nobody 
talks about that. Yeah, but they really don't. It's I mean, it has Dick Van Dyke in Dick it. Van Dyke. He's like, in Mary Poppins. Exactly. It's a good ass movie. I, I need to rewatch it. That's one of those I feel like if I rewatched it, I'd be like, this is a really it good still freaking holds movie. Up, yeah. It's like the opposite of like how you feel about like Doctor Who. <laughs> it's the opposite. Yeah, you're <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Oh, I remember oh, these freaking things. No. They just there's these. Ah, oh, okay. This is like that level. Have you ever played Earthworm Jim? Yes. Oh my okay. gosh, the sub level. It's kind of like that level, where it's Does like, it you control just like blow like up that? constantly. Uh, it <laughs> it controls okay. It's not great, but like, it's just good game. It's just like you get you try to go somewhere and you just blow up. Earthworm Jim one and two. We could Should play those. Those are just good games, though. They are just the, good We games. are playing... This is a good game. You look against good games. Well, because <laughs> you could look at all the videos we've done together, and for <laughs> this one, notice what our topic of conversation <laughs> is. <laughs> Instead of the game, we talk about everything else because uh, we don't... It's a good game. You know what I mean? I mean, I've been complaining about the game for the past... I feel like it does. It get. It has a lot of bad ele elements later on. The second half of this game, kind of bad. Let's talk about them. <laughs> this level sucks. Let's talk about the sniper level where they're just freaking snipers everywhere and they can shoot you from. I had to keep constantly moving, cause or else you get shot. And even then, you get shot, and it takes like two think you're doing ticks okay. of health. So if you keep moving, you have to know where the enemies are and you have to shoot them. Ugh, the last few levels have just been like obnoxiously hard, uh, but this one's just like annoying. It's kind of like a stealth level, I guess, but the stealth elements don't really work at all. Uh, it's just like kind of just vaguely like do this specific thing in this specific way. So yeah, I, guess, Chitty, I think Chitty I'm Chitty supposed bang, to. Um, Am I supposed to go this way? <laughs> I actually don't know. Speaking of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, uh... I think I'm supposed to follow the submarine and not shoot it, and then, like, you're use an EMP on this a, You're thing. tailing it. Underwater. You're tailing a submarine. Oh my gosh. Am I supposed to blow that up? No, I'm just supposed to tail it, I think. Okay. I'm Have you, you seen Baron Von Munchausen? No, okay, I did something wrong. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do. What did you say? Uh... Speaking of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, have you seen Baron von Munchausen? The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Is that a movie? What is that? Yeah, Terry Gillum. I don't think... I've never even heard of this. Terry Gillum? It's the guy who did Time Bandits. I've seen Time Bandits. Yeah. That's weird, because, like, I don't think I would have known... My dad made me watch that once. I think you would like it. We should watch that and do a movie review. Is it good? It's actually good. Okay. It's weird too. It's good and weird. It's like time band. It's kind of it's got that weird that quality to it. Okay. Um, I'll give it. Anyway, a for whatever reason, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang makes me think of that movie. But you haven't seen it, so. I've seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. No, you haven't seen Baron Munchausen. I haven't. No. That's what it makes me think of. Um. Um. Anyway. Okay, I was supposed to pull that. Oh, you did. It, it just didn't work before. See, I think last time you shot it and it hit the fan. Yeah. See, a lot of this stuff is like... Ooh. I only, like, vaguely have a memory of doing it. Uh, I don't know it. that I'd... How do I... Ooh. I remember, I have the remote torpedo. This is kind of fun. It's like Ratchet and Clank. It is like Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Or I guess it's like the... Uh, those, the missile. The yeah, the missile <laughs> guns. Uh, is Ratchet and Clank a good series? Uh, yeah, it's one of those series that's really weird because it it has like a lot of it. It's been going on forever, and it has a lot of like highs and lows. Like mm. some of the games are kind of bad. Like the first three games are pretty good, and then there's like the the, the fourth game, which kind of sucks, and then there's like a bunch of like PSP <laughs> games, which are yeah. weird. So I I've, I've played and beat why the first that? one, but. I, and maybe this is why I had, so there's yeah. like a anyone who was around in the PS2 area knows that also Jack and Daxter and Sly oh, Cooper this up. Yeah. came out Oops. around similar times. Uh, and I played Ratchet and Clank, and I played Jack and Daxter, and I played Sly Cooper. I just felt always felt like Ratchet and oh, Clank, yeah. at least that first one. It was just like missing something. To make uh, it interesting. 
So are you talking about Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, Ratchet and Clank. The Compared first to, one? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying um, it's bad. It's like an okay game. But, like, I I'm just much more intrigued by Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper. And Ratchet uh, and Clank kind of felt like the vanilla-flavored white bread in comparison. Mm. Uh, but, but the thing is, of those series, Ratchet and Clank clearly is the more successful. I mean, they're still making them. Yeah. Uh, it's Insomniac, so it's a it's very, you know, it's a studio that's been able to survive. I mean, um, Naughty Dog. Yeah. Well, that's true, but they haven't made a Jack and Daxter in, like, I forever. Know. I know. What the hell are they doing? Uh, they're not. They're making punch. Uncharted games instead. Sucker, <laughs> Sucker Punch made uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Tell me they can't make another Sly game? Come on. Um, it's what the people want. Y you say that, but I think those games don't actually do very well in they don't. modern times. I know. That, uh, yeah, for sure. You couldn't make a, a modern day Jack and Daxter and have it sell more than Last of Us or Uncharted. Yeah, people just have weird tastes now. You can't play make a silly, cartoony, like 3D platformer and have it. See, I think you could just have it be lower budget than than uh, the Last of Us or whatever. It's true. I mean, they did make a new Ratchet and Clank, and I guess it did probably all right. And they did remakes of. Um, Spyro and Crash, they did the whole oh, Crash yeah. and Spyro yeah, collection. Yeah, they, they did those. That mean you could do that, right? For the Yeah, you could yeah, you could try it. I think um for nice. I don't know, nice for Sly done. Sly's gone so far without making a new game and Jack kind of died on the PS2. Jack and Daxter. I mean, no, it had a PS Vita game. It yeah, it has Daxter. No, it has. That's a PSP game. Yeah, it has PS Vita game. Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier. Yeah, it had that, but that wasn't. I don't think that was made by them. I think that was, it was like not. made by a different. It was made studio. by a separate studio. Same and with. I've never heard anything. Same about with it. I don't know if Sly like. Cooper: Thieves in Time. I need to get it. Was on the PS here. Vita. I think it was made by a different. I don't oh, think you're gonna make I'm it. Not gonna make it. <laughs> no. Uh, Jack Jack's a weird series though, cause it, like the first one's like this kind of cutesy 3D platformer, and then it gets That's real. That's what's awesome about it. Dark and edgy. It gets it's guns. Kind of, but I I don't think Get Jack guns. two and three are like that no, good. They're, they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. And for the time, they were like they cool, were for the but... time going from Jack one and being like watching the progression per game felt pretty good, but mm -hmm. they're not anything special. But it's kind of an inter It's kind of a fun yeah. little world. It's a, it's unique. It's a little different. Yeah, I guess so. Like I'd if they made a new one, I'd play it. But I just don't know if it would. And Sly Cooper's not really that good of a game either. But it's fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're better than Ratchet and Clank. Is my point. Oh, I don't know about that. Ratchet and Clank had a lot of consistently good. It was able. To, it was the only one that was really able to like reinvent itself in like the the PlayStation Three era. Because yeah. they did like Ratchet and Clank Future, um, and it was came, kind of became like the poster child, I think, for or like the the mascot, I guess, in a way of the of PlayStation. Yeah, but that doesn't make it good. It just means uh, that's what people liked. Uh, I, <laughs> people are wrong. I thought you of all people would understand. Uh, I mean, if you're, you're like saying Mr. Ratchet and Clank's worse than those games, I don't agree with that. No. Like I, uh, Jack and Dexter Precursor Legacy is good. Jack two and three, I'm I'm not as impressed with, but Precursor Legacy I think is kind of a bare, a pretty straightforward platformer as well. I don't think it's like doing anything like that special. Ratchet and Clank is kind of it's unique. It's interesting. It's not just a 3D platformer because it's got all the guns and the upgraded and yeah, all but that it's not stuff. that interesting. And then Jack and Dexter stole that. And put it in two and three. They're like, that's a good idea. That's such a good idea that we stole it. And now no, Jack a, Two has guns. They do it better though. And they no, also they have Jack. Don't. They, have Jack <laughs> they do not do it better. They have Jack Race. Jack X. Jack X. Yeah. <laughs> where, where is Ratchet's racing game? Huh. Um, that's true. I can't argue with that. So that's what I thought. That's true. Where's Spy? Where's Sly? Frick? Sly, Sly Cooper. Cooper's racing unfortunately, game. I haven't ever played the third. The third Sly Cooper, so I don't really know um, if it's actually good. Yeah. I think those franchises just died. That's all I think. I, I think they should be revived, though, for like Frankenstein. And they need to milk every dollar 
That's how. That's what you should do with franchises. <laughs> yeah, true. You need to make sure you get every ounce of uh, usefulness out of them until it's bankrupt of all creativity. <laughs> yeah, that's the official stance of this channel. By the way. That's yeah. I we're in, I endorse. I guess. <laughs> I posted yeah. it. I I'm glad we agreed it. on <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> yeah. I definitely agree. <laughs> but I'm also someone who's like, Spider-Man was like fun, but I don't know if it's like a good game, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I, the first one's good. I think the weird thing is I played uh, recently, um, I played a game called Sunset Overdrive, which mm -hmm. is basically, it was super weird because it was like, it it's like the precursor to Spider-Man because it even has the same voice actor that does Peter Better Parker. It's super weird to play it, but it's like edgier and like it unique and interesting because it was able to kind of do its own thing. Yeah. And then Spider-Man, but Spider -Man it's like copied it. Yeah. Uh, basically, I Spider-Man has way more interesting. I think locomotive ways or is that the right movement. Word? Yeah. Movement options. Getting around. Swinging, it's just real fun, but like Sunset Overdrive clearly, is that the skating one? Kind of, yeah. You can grind rails and swing on poles. I always thought that was that was the Jet Set Radio ripoff, but it's not. Uh, yeah, There's like really. Funky Fresh Bombs or something. It's the uh, it's the new. There, there's. There, I don't know if it's out yet, but they're making a new Jet Set Radio ripoff, and it's called like Funky Bomb Time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> I'll find it, but uh, yeah. well, but is Sunset Overdrive good? I it is good. Um, I feel like a lot of people didn't play it because it, it was released as like an Xbox One launch title. Um, and I feel like people bought it and they were like, mm, I don't know if I like this, and they didn't play enough of it because you kind of have to get far enough into it to for it to really shine. Um, God damn it! Uh, <laughs> this, is good, this is fun. <laughs> I'm having a good so time. So the name My point of is. The Go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah, Spider-Man clearly was, like, built off of what they were trying to do with that game. Um, and I feel like they kind of perfected that concept as well. So, I think the first one's... The first one's good. The second one's good, too. But it's kind of the same game, really. It just adds another Spider-Man. But, but they already had that. Yeah. They're kind of generic in terms of, like... That's what I associate Ratchet and world Clank games. with, too, though. Ratchet and Clank's not an open world game. No, it just means generic. It's not really generic. Like, I, nothing the, the about gun system's really seeing unique. it, like, excites me. <laughs> it's doing a lot of unique things. Like, the gun system is unique. The, the, the different uh, types of guns and how you, like, level them up. There's a bunch of different, like, kind of, I don't know, joke joke guns. Well, not joke guns, but, you know, different types of, like, weird guns. Now you're approaching Borderlands territory. No, Borderlands is, like, generic <laughs> guns, but they all have different names. I don't know. I think I'm just a hater. I just don't yeah, think I like Ratchet. Like a hater. I just don't like Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would just. I wouldn't say that's like not unique or kind of bland or boring. I. I feel like Ratchet and Clank really stands out. It's fun, especially the. Um, you know, it's got the the like. Uh, it's got like a grapple beam. It's got all sorts of like little gadgets and stuff that you can use to get around. It's got little mines. I don't know. It's fun. Up your arsenal. Yeah. Uh, Quest for Booty. Quest for Booty is not a good one. It just it also doesn't have that, like, kind of teeters on the more yeah, immature humor, kind of like Borderlands does. Yeah, it's Insomniac. That's, like, yeah. their style. Yeah, that would mean it's good. It. You'll hate get this game. You'll get it. I, I hit one of these mines, I'm fucked. I and believe in you. They're just not working with me. They're oh, not working with sorry, me. Sorry, the Jet Set Radio spiritual successor is called <laughs> Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Uh, is it good? The first ti the first article is Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is a cool downright fun spiritual successor to Jet Set Radio. That's the summary? That's the title of the article from Games Radar. Oh. Um, I've never played Jet Set Radio. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why I associate Jet Set Radio with you. You just seem like the kind of person to have played it. Like it mm. seems like a you game. Uh, I guess so. It's like a Dreamcast, right? Yeah. I didn't have a Dreamcast as a kid. I, didn't, I, didn't I have know, one I now. didn't know anyone who did. Yeah, I didn't know. I actually did. I my friend had a Dreamcast, but I don't think he had any games on it really. That's right. Uh, my aunt had one, but we literally never played it. 
I don't even know that she had any games, but that's the only person, the only time I ever saw a Dreamcast in, in person. Yeah, it kind of uh, failed commercially. 